This video is provided as supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I want to talk about finding the greatest common divisor of two numbers. This is sometimes called the greatest common factor. So both those terms mean the same thing. Let's start with these two numbers, 12 and 30, and see what this is about. So let's say I've, I've got to find the largest number that divides into both 12 and 30. So that's going to be the largest or the greatest common divisor of those two numbers, or the greatest factor that those two numbers have in common. Now one way we could do this would be to list all the divisors or all the factors of each of the numbers and then compare the lists. So the numbers I can divide evenly into 12 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The numbers I can divide evenly into 30 would be 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 won't go, 5, 6, 10, and 15. So now if I compare the numbers in the two lists, I see that I've got a 1 in both of the lists, but that's not the largest number I've got in both of them. I've got a 2 in both of them. I've got 3s. And then I've got 6s. And 6 is the largest number that I have in both of these lists. So it's the greatest common divisor of those two numbers, or the greatest common factor. Now, this list method can work fine, but it can be a lot of work, and the bigger the numbers get, the longer the lists are. So let's do it a different way. I'm going to take those two numbers, 12 and 30, and I'm going to make a factor tree for each one. I'm going to find the prime factorization for each of the numbers. So 12, I can factor that down into uh, a 2 and a 6. That'll be the beginning of my tree. 2 is a prime number, but 6 is not. So I want to divide that 6 down into 2 and 3. And now I've got primes at the end of each of my branches. So that means my prime factorization for 12 would be 2 times 2 times 3. Let's do the factorization for 30. So let's see, 30 is 3 times 10. So I'll start my tree that way. And then 10 is a composite number. That's 2 times 5. And now I've got prime numbers at the ends of each of my branches here. So the factorization, the prime factorization for 30, is going to be 2 times 3 times 5. Now, what I'm doing is I'm looking for factors that are common to both of these factorizations. In other words, I'm looking for numbers that are in both of the prime factorizations. Well, both of them have a 2. The factorization for 12 has two twos, but in terms of what they both have, they both have one two. So I'm going to circle the twos in my factorization. They both have threes. Those are the only things they have in common. Now, if I take what they both have, a two and a three, and multiply them together, then I'll get my greatest common factor, or my greatest common divisor, which is 2 times 3, or 6. So I can write that as GCD for greatest common divisor. And then in parentheses, write the two numbers I was looking for the divisors of, the 12, comma, 30. And I'll end the parentheses. And I'll say that the GCD of 12 and 30 equals 6. Okay, let's do another one with a bigger number, or bigger numbers. Okay, so let's try, let's try 24 and 84. So I'm going to do the factorization for both of them. I'll do a factor tree. 24 is, I guess I could start with 3 times 8. And then that 8 is a com composite number. I can make 8 into 2 times 4. I want to break the 4 down into 2 times 2. So the prime factorization for 24 would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. 
for the 84, uh, well, since that's even, I'm going to divide it by 2. I'll make it a 2 and a 42. 2 times 42 is 84. And then 42 is even, so I'm going to break that down again into 2 and 21. And 21 is, let's see, that's 3 times 7. And now I've got nothing but primes at the ends of my branches. So the prime factorization for 84 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. So let's see. Uh, they both got a 2. In fact, they both got two twos. So I can circle those twos. And they both got a 3. Okay, so the, the greatest common divisor for 24 and 84 would be 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12. Now, let's say I had written this instead of 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Let's say I had written 2 to the 3rd times 3. And for 84, maybe I wrote 2 squared times 3 times 7. Now, if I'm looking for the greatest common divisors, all I have to do is remember the 2 to the 3rd is 3 twos and 2 squared is 2 twos, and so the most I can do is take out a 2 squared, okay, as well as the 3s, of course. So basically that means I can write that the GCD, the GCD, greatest common divisor of 24 and 84, equals 2 times 2 times 3, which would be 12. Okay? I want to do one more quick example just to show you what happens when this doesn't work. So let's say I have 21 and 10, and I want the greatest common divisor. So I'll break 21 down into 3 and 7, and I'll break the 10 down into 2 and 5. Now 3, 7, 2, and 5 are all primes. Notice it looks like I've got no greatest common factor or greatest common divisor. When this happens, first of all, it means that the greatest common divisor is just 1, because of course I could divide both those numbers by 1. So the greatest common divisor, the GCD of, let's do that notation, 21, comma, 10, of 21 and 10, is just 1. The other thing is, these numbers, 21 and 10, are what we can call relatively prime numbers. Now, that doesn't mean they're prime numbers. They're certainly not. 21 is composite, and 10 is composite. But they're relatively prime, meaning they don't have any factors or divisors in common, except for the number 1. Okay? So basically, that's going to be the whole process. You take your two numbers, you break them down into greatest common fa into uh, prime factorization. You look for all the factors that are common in both of your factor trees. Multiply those factors together, and that'll give you your greatest common divisor. Oh, I wrote that wrong. Greatest common divisor. Okay, that's it for now. Take care. I'll see you next time.